Hello, welcome to The Waiting Room with me, Mark Thomas. Thanks very much for joining me. We start today by changing our normal habit. We start by praying. So let's pray. O wisdom of God, coming forth from the mouth of the Most High, reaching from one end to the other mightily, and sweetly ordering all things, come and teach us the way of prudence. We pray. Amen. Do you know that you've just joined many, many other Christians in our day and down the centuries who have prayed that prayer on this day, the 17th of December? As far back as possibly the 7th century, the church developed a custom of praying seven prayers in the lead up to Christmas. Prayers that call afresh on Christ to come, addressing him by the mysterious titles found in the Old Testament, particularly in Isaiah. O wisdom, O Lord, O root, O key, O dayspring, O king, O Emmanuel. There are tapestry of scriptural titles and pictures that describe God's saving work in Christ. We sing a version of this uh, in the wonderfully moving, longing, hoping Advent hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Do you know it? If you want to catch the spirit of today's prayer and the prayers over the next week, then go and have a listen to that. Maybe even sing along to it, to that carol. It might even I might even put a link uh, at, at the bottom in the comments for you to, to go and have a look at. A series of seven prayers, often referred to as the O Antiphons, for reasons that, well, I might explain uh, at another time. But they were spoken between the 17th and the 23rd of December. And I'm going to use them and the Bible passages from which they come over the next seven days. I should declare that anything I've come to know and love about these prayers and learn the, the longing plea for Christ in all his many faceted and faceted glory to come. I've learned courtesy of the writings of Malcolm Geit, whose book, Waiting on the Word, is something that I'll be heavily drawing on as we spend a few moments together. So today's prayer is, O wisdom, come and teach us. It begins, like all of these seven antiphons, with the invocation, O, and then calls on Christ, although actually never by name. And each addresses our deepest need, expressed in this great Advent verb, veni, come. So today's prayer, O wisdom, come and teach us, which is arguably inspired by the words from Isaiah chapter 11, verses 2 and 3. Perhaps you'd like to turn to those verses. I'm going to read them in a moment or two. <coughs> However, I would want to say that like many of the titles uh, that the Old Testament anticipates for Christ, their presence can be found in many places throughout the Bible. There is, a, there is no less true of this title, A Wisdom, where we can read whole swathes of proverbial wisdom in the book of that name, the book of Proverbs, and from which one can see in Christ proverbs wrapped in flesh, as one scholar describes Christ. Proverbs wrapped in flesh. Well, anyway, for now, let us read Isaiah chapter 11, verses 2 and 3 together. The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the Spirit of counsel and of might, the Spirit of the knowledge and fear of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. You might also want to turn to a New Testament section later on. 1 Corinthians chapters 1 to 3 speak of God's wisdom in contrast to men's wisdom. Indeed, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 30 speaks specifically of Christ. It says, Christ Jesus, who has become for us wisdom from God. The wisdom from God is not just the private capacity of an individual wise person. The wisdom from God 
is not just the accumulated caution of a human wisdom tradition. The wisdom from God is almost a primal, almost pre-existent quality of order and beauty out of which all things come. Wisdom is part of what John, the follower of Jesus, means by the word logos. The word was with God. John chapter 1 verse 1. The word was with God in the beginning, from the beginning, before the beginning. And he was the one who came to us to be with us and inhabited our habitation. So we rightly pray today. O wisdom, come and teach us. Amen.